Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to do a new series on my channel. This is going to be a Fragrance Friday and I'm so excited because many of you have asked me to do some more dedicated fragrance videos and you guys know that that is one of my passions so I'm so excited to be diving in and we're going to start with one of my favorite niche brands and this is Fragrance Dubois. So if you're interested in learning a little bit more about Fragrance Dubois especially Demi Rawlings new fragrance this is Minwi Eth Demi, and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you, but I also was going to go ahead and give you a little rundown of the other fragrances that I own from Fragrance Dubois and give you a little overview of those. Okay guys, we're going to start with a little information about Fragrance Dubois. This is one of my favorite niche fragrance brands. And they are headquartered in Paris, France. They specialize in oud fragrances. So if you are an oud lover, then I'm sure you're already familiar with Fragrance Dubois. They specialize in organic oud sources from Asia. This company is known for sourcing the finest raw materials in an ethically and sustainable way. It's going to give back to communities. So this is kind of a unique brand. They believe they have about 38 fragrances. And I just heard from Fragrance Dubois, they're going to be launching some new fragrances that I'm so excited about. And it's First Ladies Only Collection. So, so excited for that. Right now, their fragrances are all considered unisex. All fragrances unisex, you guys. You can wear what you want. I enjoy men's cologne almost as much as I enjoy more feminine kind of women focused fragrances. So I'm just so excited. They've got some new launches coming our way, hopefully in the spring or pre-summer. So I'll be sure to keep you in touch with that. But recently I was talking to you about the fragrance and this is Minui et Demi. And this is Demi Rawlings collaboration with Fragrance Dubois. And as I mentioned the other day, you guys, I am absolutely in love with this fragrance. I'm not disappointed whatsoever. I did blind buy this. This, this was a special launch that happened, I believe before Thanksgiving or maybe around that time. And Demi Rawlings collaborated with Fragrance Dubois to create her own first fragrance. As I mentioned, I'm a huge fan of Demi Rawling. If you are a fragrance lover, I am sure you're familiar with Demi. Now, Demi is a young woman with a fantastic nose. But as I mentioned the other day, Demi is young, but she is a go-getter. She has a huge heart. She has an excellent nose and a lot of the fragrances that she loves, I also love. So I knew this was a no-brainer. I was going to have to pick this up because I'm also a fan of other fragrance Dubois fragrances. So let's start with this Menui at Demi. This is going to be for your gourmand lovers. This is just divine. It is intoxicating. It is comforting. It is scrumptious. I am just, I am just in love with this fragrance and I'm so excited because I have been able to confirm that they are going to do a second release of Demi's fragrance. So you guys, they said probably spring. I don't know. I've heard March, but Basically, in spring, they're going to do another round two of this fragrance. And what I would recommend is that you are signed up for the newsletter on Fragrance Dubois, as well as subscribing to Demi Rawlings' YouTube page and her Instagram. I'm sure she's going to be giving out more details on this round two launch, but, but I do have to say I'm in love with this. I have been wearing this since I received it. And I think this is a fantastic collaboration with Fragrance Dubois. I can't wait to see what else she creates. And this is just so pretty. So let's go ahead. I'm going to wear this one today. And actually, I'll put it on just one arm because we're going to talk about some other perfumes. 
And today when I'm spraying this out, I am getting a little bit more of that coffee in here. So as I had mentioned the other day, I did not know that I was a coffee fragrance lover, but clearly I am. This fragrance has coffee and caramel in here, and I describe this as like walking into like a very chic but quaint kind of coffee shop. I imagine it being cold outside. So I'm coming in for a warm coffee drink and when I, when I open up the doors I immediately smell some sort of coffee macchiato kind of drink. So there's a little bit of caramel in here. There's definitely coffee in here but there is that cozy cardamom at the very top. There's also pimento. Um, and that is what is very interesting here. It does have a little bit of spice to it, but it isn't a big kick in the face kind of spice. It is very understated. Again, when I think of something warm and cozy, um, cashmere sweaters, wearing a beautiful kind of cashmere shawl. So there's a comfort level to this, but, but then there is a little something in here that is a little bit sexy and goes beyond just being kind of like a sweet kind of gourmand. This is not overly sweet. It is not cloying. Um, I really do think of it as, yes, I'm smelling some baked goods kind of in the background of the coffee shop. So it does have that kind of gourmand, you know, it has a touch of vanilla that I love, but but it's just not over the top sweet. But it's tempered with a base of sort of like sweet tobacco and bourbon. So there is an addictive quality to this fragrance. This is one that you are going to spray on and then throughout the day you're going to be like smelling yourself because it smells so good. This also smells fabulous sprayed on your clothes. When you pick them up the next day you're going to be like what smells so amazing and it is going to be Minuit et Demi. Name of the fragrance is Minuit et Demi, which means half past midnight, kind of the bewitching hour. And I also love, I love the name. I love, of course, the bottle. And I will tell you that this is just oozing the quality of fragrance du bois. So Demi has said that this is her ideal gourmand fragrance. This is going to be warm, slightly sweet, intoxicating and sexy and I think she has nailed it. So I am a gourmand lover. I'm a fan of Fragrance Dubois so this was just a complete no-brainer for me and I just absolutely love it. Now I have been asked what this smells like and I'm going to be honest there is some vibes and similarity to some other gourmands but this is a unique fragrance. This isn't going to be like this is an exact dupe. Um, for Demi's fragrance. I would say the two that are coming to my mind, and again, it's more of a vibe, it's probably because they're both gourmand fragrances, and that is Lune Feline by Atelier d'Or. And Lune Feline is definitely a gourmand lover's fragrance. It has cardamom in here, it has got cinnamon, it is a rich kind of gourmand fragrance that the dry down is just absolutely insane. But with that one, as I've mentioned before, I don't actually own it. I've gotten samples of it. I love the dry down, but there's sort of a little bit of a funkiness that you can get, that you have to get through to get to the dry down. So I would say maybe that's a tad bit more complex. Some people have said they've kind of smelt like this burning rubber tire kind of things with Lune Feline. And there definitely was some sort of element. I wouldn't say it was a tire smell to me, but it just had something that I wasn't so sure um, I wanted to wait like the 30 minutes to let that pass. Whereas this one I can just put right on and immediately get that kind of intoxicating kind of pleasure right off the bat. So the other fragrance that many of you have been asking me about is my beloved. This is from Penhaligans and this is Changing Constance. And you guys, this is basically salted caramel in a bottle and as you can see super adorable bottle and again this is one of my favorite gourmands ever and what I would tell you between the two of these both beautiful this one is going to be more fleeting on the skin so as much as I love changing constants this is one that you're going to have to reapply like I get a good like four plus hours of this fragrance on my 
my skin and then it starts to kind of dissipate and I just want that scrumptiousness to kind of stay stick around a bit longer. Now I'm fine with reapplying and so that's what I would say but I know this is an expensive perfume and for some the longevity of changing constants kind of gives them a little bit of disappointment but this one is more on that salty caramel kind of vibe. This one does have that kind of cinnamon opening, a little bit of spice. It is beautiful. This one is definitely sweeter than Demi's fragrance. So what I would say with this one is they both have the cardamom, they both have that pimento, so it's got a bit of spice, but in a softer way. They both have tobacco note in here, so a little bit of sweet tobacco. This one has cashmere in and a bit of salt. So I really think of this as more of like salted caramel. So yummy. I do absolutely love this one. But Demi's fragrance has that coffee note in it. So that would be the big difference. There's definitely this kind of warmth from that coffee note. So with Demi's, you've got that cardamom, you've got the pimento, but then you've got the layer of caramel and coffee in here. And then in the base, you've got tobacco bourbon, a little touch of vanilla. So this is a little bit less sweet and a little bit tempered from the coffee. So I'm actually fine having both of these in my collection. And I think on a personal note, it's been so fun to be a fan of Demi, to see her grow, to see her chase her dreams, and to see them come true. So it also has kind of a feel good kind of moment for me to kind of see her succeeding. And I cannot wait to see what she does next. She's an amazing woman. She is beautiful beautiful inside and out and so this has been kind of a fun journey to follow. Next fragrance. I'm trying to decide which one to talk about next. Okay, we're going to go ahead. We'll talk about Santal Complete. And if you are purchasing Santal Complete now, I have an older bottle of this. It will have the new black labeling on it. But this is a beauty but this is a beauty. So I'm actually gonna spray it on the other side. I'm gonna be smelling so good today. Okay, so Santel Complete. I'm pretty sure I ended up buying this because of Demi. There was one other woman that I was watching first and then I watched Demi's whole unboxing of Santal Complete, and I knew that it was one of that I was gonna have to get. So if you are someone who loves creamy sandalwood, amber, vanilla fragrances, this is one that you're gonna wanna check out. So the beauty of this fragrance is it's got a freshness to it, but then it's got this beautiful, creamy, warm base. These are the kind of fragrances that I gravitate towards, sort of those warm, sensual, creamy, vanilla fragrances. Those are just right up my alley. So to me, this is a really special fragrance. It's got some warmth to it, but it also has some cool elements and it has that creamy, luscious sandalwood. It has a touch of musk, amber, and a bit of vanilla, but then what makes it special is the actual coconut. It is not a suntan lotion kind of coconut. It is like it is as if you have just sliced open a true fresh coconut and you've got that creamy coconut milk and it just has that real kind of creamy coconut goodness to it, like a little bit of sweetness. Um, and it just has that really nice coconut in it as well as lemon. So there's a little bit of freshness, a little bit of zinginess to it that I really enjoy. And then it's got a touch of black pepper and violet leaves. And I think that violet leaves is where it becomes extra special. There's just some sort of element in there that it's a bit floral, but not overly. To me, this is just sort of a luxurious kind of fragrance. I love that it's a little bit understated. This is not going to be loud. This is a softer fragrance. And so I just wanna make sure to give you that little heads up. I find when people are spending a lot of money on a perfume and it's a little bit more understated, sometimes they are disappointed. Whereas but this is a true gem, but you have to understand that it's not a loud in your face kind of fragrance.
So I tend to wear this fragrance a little bit more in the spring summer months. It is a year round fragrance. So you can definitely enjoy Santal Complet year round. What I would say is that when I visualize this kind of fragrance, I think of like a white linen shirt. I think of your softest pair of light wash jeans that just hang on you perfectly, um, kind of feel comfy, and that you are like walking on the beach, beach now. just kind of taking in the ocean air. That's kind of what I'm visualizing here, but of course you're going to have your toes perfectly manicured as well as your hands so there is a sophistication about this fragrance this is definitely an elevated fragrance it isn't a completely casual but to me it just has those kind of like being really comfortable in your skin that you have a certain air about you that you are just comfortable with yourself you're fine with you being you and i just think this is a really special fragrance so love santal complete definitely worth checking out. Okay, now we're moving on to probably one of my favorite from the brand and this is Oud Jean Intense and I have definitely spoken about this little flirty fragrance here. This is just sort of my sexy fruity flower balm of a fragrance. Like when I think of something tropical and fun and flirty, this is what I'm going to reach for you guys. It is amazing. This one makes me smile. This one transports me to a tropical paradise. This is where you're going to be drinking one of those fancy kind of pineapple drinks. You are wearing a sundress. Your skin has been kissed by the sun and you are just fully enjoying life. There's definitely some fun music kind of playing in the background. Again, kind of tropical, a little bit on the beach, but this isn't the serene kind of feeling that I was getting with Santal Complet. This is you ready to go to like a luau where you're going to like dance the night away. It is just such a fun fragrance. Now this does have a touch of oud in here, but in the oud Jean Intense, this is going to be like a little light dose of it. It isn't going to be kind of a heavy oud fragrance. And if you're not familiar with oud fragrances, oud is a special type of wood. It's called agar wood. It is a unique limited kind of wood that's a little bit resinous that's got kind of a earthy resinous sometimes smoky element to it so this has a very slight touch to me this is more tropical paradise it's got notes of tahitian gardenias ylang ylang pineapple so you're definitely going to have that kind of fruitiness in here it's also got jasmine orange blossom, a touch of oud as I've mentioned, as well as as well as a little touch of vanilla and then it's kind of tethered down with that oud and musk. Um, but again I'm not getting a lot of oud out of this so if you are someone who's looking for a true oud fragrance I probably wouldn't go with this first. It isn't what I would consider like a strong oud fragrance. To me this is just my flirty, sexy, tropical bliss fragrance. I I just love it. Now, this is a very pricey fragrance, but I have to tell you that all the special kind of ingredients that come in here just make this such a beautiful fragrance. This is one that I completely get compliments on because it's got that fruity, sexy floral in it. This is another one you guys wear I have a little bit of trouble wearing florals. They can make me nauseous, but this one does not. And I think it's because it is a little bit tethered or grounded by that musk, by that touch of oud. And it just really is truly a special fragrance. Now, I do want to let you know they actually sell a hair mist. I just saw these on Selfridges and they sell the oud Jean Intense Hair Mist at a fraction of the cost of this. And that is another way that I can tell you, you can try out fragrances. It's not gonna be as the same caliber as the Eau de Parfum, but if you kinda wanna get the gist for the fragrance, this would be a good way to kind of try it out. So like with Delina from Parfums to Marley, you can buy their hair mist and try out the fragrance for a little bit less price and decide if you kind of like it. So the hair mist could be 
a super fun way to try out this fragrance without taking the plunge, but this is my most favorite tropical, fun, sexy fragrance. Again, this is one I get tons of compliments on. It's got that sweetness. It's got that fruitiness. It's got the beautiful florals coming in. This one just shines, and it especially shines in the summer months. So if you're looking for something that's fruity and floral, but has some elegance to it, I would definitely check out Oud Jean Intense. And then last but not least, as part of my collection, I have Oud Rose Intense. This is another one that I really enjoy. This is a classic kind of Oud Rose combination. There's lots of perfumes out there that do the Oud Rose combo. Now I need to preface this that I am not someone who totally gravitates towards rose scents. It has been some, it has been compared to one of my favorites, which is Oud Satin Mood. If anybody's tried this one from Maison Francis Kirkjohn, this to me is a beast mode Oud Rose fragrance. So this is a deep jammy rose. Definitely has that touch of Oud in there, but it is also beast modes. I absolutely love this one, but I have to be in the mood and I have to be very light handed with this. Otherwise it can be just a little bit too overwhelming. But the similarities between these two are that they both have that kind of deep kind of jammy rose that I really enjoy. But this one has sort of a light, I want to say almost soapy element to it. There is a lightness and a freshness. I can totally see that this is very unisex. Men would love this just as much as women. This has a bit of bergamot, so there is some freshness in this. It's got a little bit of cleanness to it that I actually really love. Like I actually love stepping out of a shower after washing my hair and it kind of has that clean, soapy, kind of comforting kind of note to it. But then again, you've got that deep kind of rose. So there's a richness to the rose. There's also geranium in there. And I think maybe that's another kind of floral note that makes this a little bit interesting. It's also, this also has sandalwood. This also has amber. And then this one's gonna have a touch more of the kind of classic oud, that kind of exotic oud that Fragrance Dubois is known for. This definitely does have some woodiness to this. And there's just something that I really find comforting about this fragrance. Now to me, because of the little bit of clean or soapiness that I get from this fragrance, it's kind of like a everyday great fragrance, kind of a year round fragrance. And it's something that I'll pull when I want that kind of classy, sophisticated kind of smell. But I also just want that little bit of that comfort too. So this to me is an elegant kind of classy fragrance. I could see myself wearing kind of a crushed velvet kind of top. So again, something that has some softness, some texture to it. Kind of as if you're like in a stately home and they have beautiful kind of velvet curtains. Um, there's an elegance to it like that. Or as if I was wearing like a beautiful, like I want to say kind of a hot pink crushed velvet kind of shirt. I don't even know. I do not own one of those, but I would like to. I love that color. So kind of a rich, deep fuchsia kind of color like that. Um, that would kind of be in the zone that I'm feeling this. And again, you guys, I gravitate towards woody fragrances. So I think that's the other element I love about this. The, the dry down of this definitely has some more woods that come up to this. So this one has kind of hits all the boxes with being a little bit freshy. It's got that deep kind of rich jammy rose. And then it's got that lovely kind of sophisticated base that I tend to enjoy. So if all of that kind of sounds good to you, I definitely would check this out. Definitely know there is some sort of, there's definitely note that there is some sort of 
clean or soapy nature to this one and that's why I think it's gonna smell amazing on men. A lot of men's colognes kind of lean a little bit more on those kind of soapy notes and I could totally see men absolutely loving this Oud Rose Intense. So these are the four fragrances that I own from Fragrance Dubois. Now I do have a bunch of samples. So if you would like me to do another more extensive video on Fragrance Dubois uh, fragrances, please let me know. I do have a lot of them. They, they have the Fashion Capital collection, you guys, and it's so interesting. They've got London Oud. They've got New York Intense. They have Milano. And then they also have New York Fifth Avenue. And I have got to tell you, I have a sample of New York Fifth Avenue and it smells exactly like New York. Like I was blown away how they just nailed it. I had just been to New York to visit my son. This was pre-COVID <laughs> and um, I had gotten a sample of that fragrance and I was just like, oh my gosh, it really does. It smells like New York. It reminds me of being there and visiting. So incredible. So I've got a few of those samples. And then they have the Nature's Treasures line. And from that line, I definitely have bought a bottle of the Patal de, Ca the Patal de Cashmere. So I could definitely do a more in-depth review on that. The Shades of Oud. And I definitely have samples of Oud Orange Intense, which is absolutely amazing. Definitely Gourmand. It is gorgeous. That's kind of on my list. Um, I have a sample of the really fantastic Oud Violet Intense. There's Oud Blue, Oud London, Oud Vert. So definitely think though. So if you are into Ouds, you definitely need to check out their collection. They also have the three hair mists that I'm intrigued by. They've got Oud Jean Intense Hair Mist. They've got Oud Rose Intense and Oud Orange Intense. So this is definitely a unique niche brand. Definitely worth checking out. And I'm so excited because they are going to be launching sort of a lighter kind of summer fragrance as well as a ladies only collection. So we have lots to look forward with this brand. But as always, let me know if you own anything from Fragrance Dubois, what your favorite is, what I need to check out. I always love learning from you guys as well. But this is a favorite niche brand of mine. They are luxe, but I find them to be worth every penny. I treasure every single one of my perfumes. And again, you guys love the new launch from Demi Rawling. I'm so excited that there's going to be a round two. So, so if you missed out the first time, you guys will have a second chance to pick up this beautiful fragrance. Now I have purchased fragrances directly from Fragrance Dubois as well as Lucky Scent. So Lucky Scent in the U.S. actually sells samples or if you happen to live in New York or L.A., you're lucky enough to go to Scent Bar. You could actually go and get your nose on those, but just going to leave the information below for Lucky Scent. So if you are wanting to purchase samples, that would be a good route to go. Okay, guys, that concludes my fragrance Friday. I'm so excited. Many of you have given me lots of ideas for upcoming Fragrance Fridays. Please keep those, please keep those suggestions coming. I truly listen to you guys and want to provide what you want to be watching. So I appreciate all your love and support and I hope you guys have an amazing weekend.